Hello and welcome to Solid Tech Tech. My name is Piyush Suri, an application engineer at Adonis Technology Private Limited. So today's topic is about using Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. Simulation Express Analysis Wizard helps you to do analysis on a basic part level at any CAD packages. So it can be a standard package, a SOLIDWORKS professional or even a SOLIDWORKS premium. So let's begin with our example. So in today's example, we are going to do a basic analysis on an L bracket with a small fillet on it. So for doing the analysis, you have to go to a evaluate tab, click on the simulation express analysis wizard. You can go to the option and specify the unit of your system and whether you want to see the annotation or not. Let's start with the analysis. So as you move on, you get a steps to perform for doing the particular analysis. So the first steps is to apply a fixture. In my case, my geometry will be fixed at the top end. You can add a multiple fixture or you can say next to move on to the next step. Let's say now I want to add a downward force of around 1200 Newton. So I can click on the add force button, click the face, select selected direction and specify a top plate to specify the direction of it. In my case, it is downward of 1200 Newton. After that, we can specify the material for your geometry. So in my case, it is ASI 304, whose density is around 8000 kg per meter cube. Next step is to run the analysis. In the same step, we can specify the quality of mesh we require by clicking on the change setting and defining the mesh. In our current case, we are going to use the default mesh and run the analysis. Once the result has been plotted, it will show you an animation wizard asking whether it is properly deformed or not. If you are doubt about your deformation, you can say no and return to load and fixture and cross check what are the load conditions you have specified if you are happy with the deformation you can say yes and plot the result for you example so in my case i can see a warm message stress a maximum and the minimum value of it the displacement and even the factor of safety as you observe there are some area where the factor of safety is minimum which is around 1.68 what if my geometry required a factor of safety of 2 which should be minimum so we can first plot an area where the factor of safety is less than 2 so you can specify the minimum factor of safety value here and press enter ok so it will show you an area where the factor of safety value is below 2 Let's say I want to make some change in the geometry so that the minimum factor of safety of this area is 2 or higher than that. So that can be also easily done in sort of simulation analysis wizard. You have to click on the optimize, say next. It will ask you which geometry parameter you wish to variate. So in my case, I want to variate the fillet of my geometry. So I can click on the fillet dimension. And say OK. So as you observe in the downward, it will get automatically added in my variable. Here, even I can specify what can be my minimum and maximum variation. So in my case, it, it can vary from 2 mm fillet to 5 mm fillet. What is my constraint? So in my case, my factor of safety should be minimum 2. By default, it will also make possible that my mass is not increased drastically. Let's run the optimization. So once the result has been plotted, here you get an option whether you want to keep the initial value or you want to get the optimal value. So let's say I want to work on with my optimal value, which is around 3.5 and have a factor of safety of 2.12 and the weight is around 0.89 kg. I'll click on the optimal value and I'll press next. Let's say I want to plot a result for that optimal value. So you can go back to your simulation express wizard, click on the run button, 
and run this analysis again on your new change value so as you observe my factor of safety has now been increased to 2.12 even if i increase it to 2 i won't get any red area or a critical area once you're happy with your result let's say you want to export this result to show some a person who don't have a CAD environment so that can be also easily done you can say done you can either generate a e drawing file which can be shared with anyone even if a person don't have a CAD environment you can view it or you can generate a 2d uh, report of it in a word format so when I click on a generate report it asks me some basic uh, inputs where it which you can put easily and once you are done with it you can say generate to so solidworks will nicely generate a report for you guys and you don't have you can add some since it is a work format you can add or delete anything you have for your requirement so it will also add some images in your report for and easily understanding the critical area and everything so this way you can use a simulation express to do a basic part analysis on your geometry Thank you for listening and have a nice day.